Welcome back to EPM Org, Evangelist Pilgrim Missions. I hope everyone had a wonderful and peaceful week on their journey with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today to worship your everlasting love, a love so true that you gave your only begotten Son for our sins. Lord Jesus, watch over our family, our church family, our friends, our community, our great state, our country, and the planet that you created, Lord. Be in our presence today, Lord, and touch someone's heart, Lord, that is in desperate need to feel your love and presence today. As we lift your hands to you today, Lord, embrace our worship for you today, for there is this day there is no other God greater than you. For this we pray today. In the name of Jesus we pray. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Today's message is titled, Who Were These Shepherds? To remember nature, spend a day with a shepherd. To remember yourself, spend a day with nature. Spend a day with our Heavenly Father. Let Him ease your sorrow, for He was born and died for you, how many you for you and how many others have done that for you. Our Lord Jesus, time and time again chooses the weak to witness his great power. His very own birth, he chose shepherds to witness his birth. Shepherds were truly nobodies that traveled around roaming, but some believe they were the temple shepherds. For the flocks they tended were to be the very lambs offered up for sacrifice to God. The lambs has been a symbol of our daily need all throughout the Bible before Christ. In Luke chapter 2 verse 8, were abiding in the fields. For see, the shepherds would wait during lamb season with their flock in the fields to witness the birth of the new lambs so they could offer up the firstborn for sacrifice to our Lord and Savior. The law of Moses, the firstborn lamb, must be offered up to the Lord. In Luke chapter 2, verse 10, I bring you good tidings and of great joy. And then verse 11, born this day in David, David's city, a Savior Christ the Lord. In verse 12, the baby wrapped in swaddling, lying in a manger. Now see, God sent an angel to tell the shepherds that he brought you good tidings and great joy. For born this day in the city of David, our Savior Christ our Lord was born. And you can find him Find the babe wrapped in swaddling linen, lying in a manger. Shepherds came right away to see Christ's child. Just as the shepherd Aaron remembered Samuel, went searching for a king, for a king, and found the young boy named David tending his flock. David wasn't the only shepherd prophet in our history. The Bible tells us that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob 
were she also shepherds. The Lord, in the book of Psalms, the Lord, the shepherd of his people, a psalm of David. <coughs> the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in a path of righteousness. For his namesake, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint me, you anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all of my days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Who were these shepherds? For they are the keeper of the lamb. The souls of great prophets of times past. Now as we walk on this very ground. Created by our heavenly father who is our one and only shepherd. Who were the shepherds? Until next time, God bless.